Hello and welcome. In this problem, they're asking us which expressions are third degree trinomials. I suggest you pause the video and try it on your own. Let's break this down. We've got two things going on here. We've got third degree trinomial, uh, excuse me, third degree and the word trinomial. So third degree refers to the highest exponent you can find, right, in your polynomial, right? So it's the highest exponent or sum of exponents in a term, which we'll get to in future problems, or sum of exponents in a term. That's something we'll come back to in a different problem. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll explain what I mean here. Uh, sorry, so the degree. Let's say we have some polynomial, a bunch of terms. You have x squared plus 3x to the first, let's say. So the highest exponent here is 2. So this would be called a second degree, right? polynomial, second degree, or in this case it's a special name quadratic for square. I know you, you see quad, you think four, uh, but quadratic is referring to a, uh, a square, of course. This is a quadratic or second degree polynomial. Now the sum of the exponents in a term, let's say you have multiple variables or multiple powers of variables in a term, like this. What is the degree now? Well, I know that, that 2 is still the highest exponent, but here's a term, right? That's a group of factors separated by addition or subtraction. There's one, two terms. Um, so these factors are being multiplied, x squared times y. And there is more than one variable. So we look at the sum of the exponents, 2 and 1. And the degree here is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is a third degree or a cubic polynomial. Next thing we've got going on here is this word trinomial. Tri means three, right? Nomial number, or in this case, trinomial means a three-term polynomial, right? So here, if we go back to our examples, we've got two binomials, right? Bi means two. Each of these polynomials has two terms, so trinomial would be three. So with that information in mind, let's go look at these choices. The first one, 3x to the third. Well, this is one term. This is a third degree monomial. Third degree monomial. Monomial, of course, mono means one. There's one term here. It's third degree because the exponent, of course, is three. But we don't need a third degree monomial. We need a third degree trinomial. That's gone. The second choice is a second degree trinomial. You can see there's one, two, three terms with the highest exponent of two. Now, the third one is our answer, right? Uh, we see 3x to the third, so this is the third power, and there are one, two, three terms, it's trinomial. And d is also, also looks like a third degree trinomial. 3x to the third plus 3x to the third minus 3. Well, here, 3x to the third plus 3x to the third, it can be simplified. It's, 3x to the, it's 6x to the third minus 3. So you can simplify, always simplify first, then count your terms. This is a third degree binomial. Right, third degree, two terms. That's not what we need. We need a trinomial. So here the answer is C. Hope that helped.